The chairman of Scandal Written Dingxi International Group has resigned from his positions as vice chairman and CEO of Taipei Financial Center Corporation, the operator of Taipei 101. Wei Ying Jiao agreed to give up the post following intense scrutiny over a spate of cooking oil scandals at Dingxin. Today at a special board of directors meeting on the 36th floor of the Taipei 101, government-backed directors led by chairwoman Christina Sung sought to force out vice chairman Wei Ying Chao. Problems cited included expiring revolving funds and a decision by First Bank not to renew a working capital arrangement. Before the meeting, Wei had vowed to retain his position, but in the afternoon he abruptly offered his resignation. Mr. Wei Ying Zhao has already taken the initiative to resign from his position as vice chairman and CEO of Taipei 101. According to regulations, once his resignation letter reaches the corporation, the resignation can take effect. Wei phoned to inform us that he is willing to conform to societal expectations. Although Wei resigned as Taipei 101 vice chairman and CEO, he still maintains a seat on the board, and his family company, Dingxing, holds a 37% share in Taipei Financial Center Corporation. The Ministry of Finance won't say whether it will attempt to force a sale of the shares. As for Wayne Zhao's personal shareholdings, we are still waiting to see how he will respond to public expectations and what level of action he will take. We are still awaiting a response. After a year of food scandals at Dingxing, the Wei family has begun to give in to public pressure.